Hi, hello, I'm Suleiman Surani. Welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a face tattoo and a plane tracker on Spark AR Studio. So before we start, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel. I upload video tutorials every week. So let's get started. Okay, so to create a face mesh, we need a few things. The first thing we need is a face reference assets. So you can go to sparkar.facebook.com, click on learn. And in the search bar, just type face reference and then click on read more. And then click on the face reference assets. Now you don't have to do this, however, because I've already uh, downloaded it for you and you can download in the description box below. So once you have downloaded the link that I provide for you, you should be able to see two subfolders, mesh and textures. In the textures folder, we have the face feminine JPEG and face masculine.jpg so we're going to use this in photoshop so i'm going to jump straight to photoshop and i have the face masculine.jpg and i have two images here that i want to use for my face mesh i have a pair of shades and a face tattoo so the first tattoo here is a png file i'm going to just click and drag to the face template and i'm going to zoom in i'm just going to make some minor adjustments i'm just going to place it uh, it doesn't have to be really very accurate. We're going to adjust it uh, on Spark ER also again anyway. So I'm just going to make sure that um kind of fit nicely. Can even go to... Can even go to wrap and adjust this accordingly. So if you're familiar with Photoshop, you can make adjustments on Photoshop. I'm just going to add a Gaussian Blur. Now this is uh, just a, as a preference. Not too much, just a bit of Gaussian Blur. And I probably can reduce the opacity. Slightly so that it blends to the skin. So once I'm done here, I'm just going to uncheck this one and I'm just going to save as png and i'm done with the face tattoo now i have a second image here that i want to use um, the shades here so i'm just going to create a new layer and i'm just gonna and this is again a png file i'm just gonna bring it in i'm just gonna scale it down slightly to fit in about so and i'm just going to uncheck both of the layers and save this as PNG. Okay, so I'm going to head back to Spark AR. So the first thing I need to do is to make sure that I have the face tracking capabilities. I head to Project and Edit Properties. And under Capabilities here, I'm just going to click on the plus sign and look for Face Tracking and click insert okay so make sure i have that and click done so the first thing i want to do is i want to add an object and look for face tracker click insert so face tracker under face tracker i'm going to right click and add a face mesh so because this face mesh is going to be um, a face tattoo so i'm gonna right away i'm gonna rename this I'm going to call this a tattoo. As you can see here, right, the face mesh is applied to my face. It uh, will move according to my face movement. So I'm going to bring in my assets. Um, the tattoo final and the sheets that I created earlier. So the first thing that we do after you import um, assets is to change the compression to none. Okay, I'm not going to have that compressed. So I'm going to click on a tattoo here. I'm going to add a material. Create new material. And add a new material. Uh, this is going to be material zero and I'm going to rename this as well. I'm going to rename this to tattoo 
and under the texture i'm going to click and look for tattoo final so as you can see here on my face right um i really have applied the tattoo face mesh i can actually make further adjustments i'm going to click um, to edit to the object okay once i have my tattoo here i would like to add another face mesh but this time to touch up my face slightly right so i'm going to right click and duplicate this And I'm going to rename this to retouch. I'm going to add a new material. Under material zero, right click, rename to retouch. Um, instead of going to the texture, I'm actually going to um, the shader type here at the top. I'm going to change this to retouching. And I'm just going to smoothen my skin a bit. Okay, I'm not going to bring up too high. Obviously, you can go 100%, but I do not like the 100, how it looks like on 100%. I usually like to play around with about 40%. Okay, not too much. So that's the face retouch. So I'm just left with one more to add my shades. For the pair of shades that I have, um, it cannot be a face mesh. So instead, it has to be, if I right click, I look for plain. It has to be a plane. So what a plane is, is basically, as you can see, um, a box that still corresponds to my face movement. And I'm going to rename this to Shits. I'm going to add a new material for this. Material 0. Rename this to Shades and texture. I'm going to change this to shades. I need to make adjustments to this. Uh, I'm going to change the position and um, the scale of the object. So I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to move this up. And I'm the vertical line, as you can see here, is to move the y axis and the red horizontal line here is to adjust the x axis click on the box to move the object freely so i'm actually referring to the simulator here and i'm going to scale it up i'm going to click this one so the vertical line is to adjust the height of the object the horizontal line is to adjust the width and i can just click on the box here to adjust both that'll be easier for me so i'm gonna resize this about then okay i'm gonna remove my spectacles so it'll be easier to see and i'm gonna move this down right about there okay so um i have my face mesh and i have my plane tracker and this is how it looks like on my mobile phone right so this is how it looks like on my device plane tracker and a face tattoo so let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial give it a try and don't forget to like my video subscribe to my channel i upload video tutorials every week see you in my next tutorial